Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of Sophos Home Premium. This is their fancy security suite for home users, it comes with ransomware protection, even actually has a setting labeled artificial intelligence or machine learning. It is controlled remotely, as with most of Sophos's enterprise products. You have all your settings online, which you can control from anywhere. It's especially handy if you have multiple users to manage, or if you just prefer a web UI for some reason. I do have the real-time protection disabled for the time being. That's just so that we can grab our samples and get started with the test. For those of you who are new, I will be using the automated test method, which is outlined on the PCSecurityChannel.com. So please go to the website, check out the test method if you don't know how it works. Basically, we'll be using an automated Python script that I have here called Malix, and they'll do all the testing for us. As you can see, I've dragged phase one of the malware samples onto the desktop, only about 82 samples here, so this should be real quick. We're almost ready, so let's get started. We do have to turn the real-time protection on, as you'll see I've done. We also have ransomware protection, which is kind of the back end of IntercepteX. And now it's all down to Malix to do its magic. Looks like we're done with phase one. Um, I didn't have to touch anything, so it's a very smooth process. Sophos obviously is a very automated product, so it blocked everything that it was supposed to on its own. And we've ended with a proactive detection of 97.56%, which is actually very impressive considering the small number of samples. I mean, even a couple of broken samples can easily offset the detection ratio. Of course, phase two is gonna be a more in-depth challenge. I don't see any evidence of malware infection. I'm not seeing any malicious process. Of course, that doesn't mean that the system is clean, but I feel that we're reasonably in good shape so that we can actually continue with the test and then we can do our second opinion scans at the end of phase two because that's when we consider the different types of results anyway. Another key thing to notice is that Hitman Pro Alert is also a background process here. As most of you probably know, they're kind of integrated into one product. Hitman Pro is owned by Sophos. So now I'm just going to delete the remainder of phase one. And the fact that I can do that shows that there's nothing really active in there. Now we'll get phase two, which is going to have way more samples. Time start phase two, turn real-time protection on again. We're just gonna say yes, and bingo.
Wow, a final proactive detection of 99.93%. It was actually on 100% for a really long time. This hands down probably the best result I have ever seen with the new testing method. I don't want to say that until I see the second opinion scans, but it is quite impressive. And what's more, I also noticed that the test went reasonably fast. Resource usage was excellent throughout. I mean, the CPU usage did go up, but that's to be expected. But most of that did actually go into processing the file at a very fast rate. So I'm very happy so far. Let's see what the second opinion scanners say and that'll lead us to the final result. The second opinion scanners are done. Hitman Pro didn't find anything, neither did Norton Power Racer and nor did Malwarebytes. So we have what I would consider probably the most comprehensive clean sheet that I've ever given out. It's a complete hold off with no malware making it through whatsoever, despite going through thousands of samples and adding to that the fact that this is completely automated, no user alerts, pretty light and very stable and polished product. It gets a very strong recommendation. It will be on the featured section on the PC security channel. By the way, I also upload all the results to the website thepcsecuritychannel.com. I will also have links in the description so if you are considering buying it, if you do so through TPSC, that helps me out. And frankly, I'm a little bit surprised. I wasn't expecting it to go this well. I've always considered Sophos a good product, but I mean, this time it's really impressed me in terms of just the polish of it and the overall result, absolutely flawless. Do check it out for home and business use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. This is Leo, thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.